Hello and welcome to tutorial number 36 and in this tutorial we're going to be covering how you would split strings. Now in a previous tutorial we went over how to create an array, how to use one etc. Well in this tutorial we're going to go over how to cre create an array by splitting a string. So go ahead and create a new project, just call it splitting text strings. Okay, now just to start off, we'll make a simple message box application, and then I'm going to try and create something more advanced. So for the text, we'll just say split string. Okay, and now let's just double click this, and we'll go over how to split a string. So first of all, we're going to need to declare our string, and we'll just say declare some string as a string, I'm just going to give it the value of 1 space 2 space 3 space 4. Now notice that in here we have spaces to separate each word. Now we're going to use a space to split our strings so this would be number 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you must make sure that there's a space between in each of these. Okay, and now now we've done that, we're going to declare our split strings as an array. So you know how to declare an array? It's the same as declaring a string. You just declare, whoops, declare, and we'll say um, some string two, and then remember empty brackets. We'll go in the previous tutorial we we used like five or four to declare how many elements, if you want to say, are going to be in this. But we're going to leave it blank for this. I'm going to declare some string two as a string, and then we're just going to give it a value down here. Okay, so we're going to say some string two equals, and then we're going to say some string dot spl whoops some string dot split, and this is how you would split a string. And in brackets, we're going to say what we want to split it by. Now, in this case, you want to split it by the spaces so we're going to put open bracket open quotation sorry and then just a space and then end brackets end quotation sorry and then close okay so let's go over this and um, first we declare some string as a string and it's just going to be these four words then we declare some string two as as an array as a string and then we give it the value of splitting some string which is here by a space so now we're just going to loop through this array and we know how to do this in a previous tutorial. We're going to say for i equals 0 to some string 2, which are array dot length minus 1. Message box dot show some string 2 and in brackets i. You, you should know what this means because you should have taken the previous tutorial. If not, you better watch that now. So we'll just kept, go ahead and debug this. And if you supposed to split it, and it'll say one, two, three, four. There you go. Sorry, computer lagged a bit there. Okay, so now we're going to try and create something a bit more advanced. And we're going to first of all, it's going to add a text box. And instead of splitting just some random string that we we declared we're going to actually split the text inside this text box. So double click split string again, come back to this code. Now up here we declared some string is a string. We want to get rid of that. And now we're going to use text box one dot text to be split. So here we're declaring some string two is a string where we previously split some string. Now here we're going to delete some string and say text box one dot text. And all that's going to do is okay it we first we're declaring some string two as an array, and then some string two is equal to splitting the text inside text box one by a space, and then it's going to message box as it did previously. So please debug that and let's see how this works. So we'll just say this is a sentence. Okay, split string. This is a sentence. Okay. So now, okay, we've done that, but what if we want to split it by something else? So let's bring this down. Okay, and we can just add two labels. 
and then label down here will say text to be split and the label up here will say split by and here we're just going to allow the user to define what character they would like to split the string by so let's just add another text box so the user can decide what they want to split the text by okay now we'll go back into the code and here you'll see we're splitting the text by a space we're actually going to say text box 2 dot text because that is the above text box so let's debug this okay now we want to do plus sorry debug I'm quite tired right, right now by a a plus sign okay so now let's just say this plus sen sentence plus is plus split and then we'll add another space and put test we'll see here that this won't split the test with a space because it's only going to split by a plus we split this this sentence is split test and there we go well, let's just I hope by this tutorial un you understand how splitting string strings work and it's a bit you don't really need to know this but there's also other ways you can split strings like you can say um, split and then in brackets you can have text box one dot text and a comma and text box two dot text that will just split text box one the text by the string in text box two dot text but you don't really need to know that I prefer the this one it's you know makes more sense really so um thanks for watching the tutorial and if you have any questions on splitting strings just leave a comment if you have any suggestions or requests just leave a comment also and please rate the video and subscribe